Hello there, welcome back to another video and in this video I am gonna make a WhatsApp board. It is going to be a very basic WhatsApp board but you can add functionality after you post the video like you can add more functions if you want to. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. So guys, to make WhatsApp board, I am gonna use a module which is called as Selenium and Selenium is used to interact with the web uh, with the websites basically and you can select all the elements in the website also you can click on an element and you can also type a message using selenium in a text box in a website so i'm gonna use the selenium module but before using it i need to install that selenium module in my python so what i'm gonna use and do pip install selenium and i'm just gonna run it now I have already installed it so it is gonna show requirement already satisfied but for you it is going to be installed okay now the first thing we need a web driver so selenium from selenium import web driver now what is a web driver web driver is a browser basically you can say web driver is a browser now let's move on what I uh, what um, we want to do is we want to get the driver so selenium dot web driver sorry we don't um, we do not need to use selenium uh, web driver dot chrome so what it is um, what a driver is basically web driver is a browser but driver is the background working on which a browser works so driver is the backend of a web browser and there are different kind kind of drivers like chrome and there is also one firefox so what you need to do is you need to download the driver from the internet and you need to give the path here of that driver but uh, as we have not downloaded it from internet what i am gonna do i am gonna import another module or another function so web driver underscore manager dot chrome import import chrome driver manager and I'm gonna write chrome dive driver manager here and I will call install function so what it is going to do it is going to download the driver that we need which is the chrome driver and it is going to return the path of that driver here so what will happen that the satisf uh, the requirement of this function will be satisfied as the given path will as the path of the driver will be given okay now let's run it and see what we got okay so chrome driver manager is not uh, let me see uh, there should be some error chrome oh i need to run this first yeah and we got a web browser and you can see chrome is being controlled by a automated test software so this was it now we need to open whatsapp website so how can we do that driver dot get function so we use get function for that and we are gonna pass the url of our website so http okay and now web dot whatsapp dot com okay so now let's run it again and it will move to whatsapp web dot whatsapp dot com so this is working just fine now what we need to do is driver dot quit so it will automatically close itself okay now after now after we have opened the whatsapp we need to uh, scan the qr code so i'm gonna print it out scan qr code i'm gonna take an input okay and i need to also write scan qr code and hit enter and i'm gonna take an input 
and then I'm gonna print logged in okay so let's run it and I'm gonna take a time dot sleep five and I also need to import time so what is this वो तो बाद में एडिट हो जाए इतना उतना तो पर वो मेरे बोलते बोलते में अगर आ जाए ना तो दिक्कत हो क्योंकि फिर वो दोबारा से करना पड़े सो व्हाट इज दिस बेसिकली दिस इज गोइंग टू स्लीप दिस इज गोइंग टू पुट आवर प्रोग्राम टू स्लीप फॉर 5 सेकंड बिकॉज़ अदरवाइज वी वांट बी एबल टू सी अ सिंगल थिंग ऑन द वेब पेज इट इज गोइंग टू बी दैट फास्ट ओके सो नाउ लेट्स रन इट वी नीड टू रन बॉस सेल एंड एज यू कैन सी हियर now i need to log in it from my whatsapp uh it a second now i need to hit enter and it is showing us logged in and as you can see here it is closed after 5 second okay so the next thing that we need to do let me open it here my whatsapp so the next thing we need to do is we need to click on this search button okay and after the search button we need to type our contact name in my case i am gonna message my mom and i am just need to hit enter after typing the contact name and the chat will be opened here okay so let's do that um, how are we gonna select this element this particular element let me just tell you so after 5 seconds what it is going to do it is going to it is uh, uh, going to make a search box let's make a search box object okay now driver dot find element by xpath so we are going to use xpath of this web page to create an object of this search box okay now what is xpath basically there are many ways to identify a identify an element in a web page like id class but those elements in id uh, those elements like id and class changes regularly in whatsapp in facebook and also in instagram so we need to do, uh, we need something that is going not going to be changed so what are go i am going to do i am just going to click right uh, uh, click right here and i am going to go to inspect now as you can see this area is automatically highlighted now what i need to do i just need to click right and copy its xpath so this xpath is not going to change and i need to provide here that so we need to change it to single quote okay now what it did do basically it created an object of this search box which is this now what we need to do we need to pass the contact name so let's make a contact variable contact equal to mom and let's make our message variable this message is sent by chat bot okay now what i am going to do i am going to use a function search box dot send underscore keys and i am going to pass the contact here what it is going to do it is going to type the contact which is mom in this box and then we need to press enter so search box dot send keys and as you know you might know that i cannot press enter here like if i do this will happen and this will not be registered as a enter press key okay so for that we need to import something else from our selenium and what we need to import is from selenium uh, selenium uh, dot web driver 
dot common dot keys import keys okay so now what i can do is keys dot enter and this is going to work because we have imported this here now you can type all those kind of things that you don't you cannot normally like enter so this is it now let's just wait for 5 second like a time dot sleep sleep is used for two things like the first thing would be you won't be able to see anything if you do not give time dot sleep and the second thing if you, your internet is very slow then it is going to help your code okay so now let me run it and we need to scan it again now i need to hit enter here uh, hit enter here now it is going to automatically write mom and as you can see here now what we need to do next is we need to click let's say uh, see where we need to click <coughs> So we need to click in this element. So we need inspect here again, and we are gonna copy the its x path. Okay, and let's say I'm gonna make a another object. Message box is equal to driver dot find underscore element underscore by underscore x path. and we need to paste it here also i need to change this to single quotes <clears throat> now we need to do the same thing here and we just need to give the message here message and the search box instead of search box it should be message dot box and message dot box now let's see if this program works or not and i am going to give time dot sleep 10 so let's see whether our program works or not okay so it is opening now i need to scan the qr code and i need to press here now just see it is going to do it automatically and as you can see here the message is sent like this message is sent by chat box and after 10 second it is going to quit by itself so guys this was it and this was a very basic or you can say an introductory lecture or an introductory video to selenium i'm going to make much more complex video using selenium in the future but this was a very basic project and you can add or you can do whatever you want like you can even send whatsapp or uh, messages like to all the people in your contacts list or you can also send good morning or good evening message based on the time of the day automatically you don't have to do anything so This was it for this video and I hope that you understood the concept of selenium and I'll see you next time thank you for watching